This is a quick overview of the Janome Gem Platinum 760. When you take the machine out of the box, you'll find the machine, foot control, spare needles, felt ring, spool cap, a spool pin, a basic screwdriver, the main spool pin, which fits in the top of the machine, like that, a stitch on picker, four spare bobbins, foot F, which is for applique stitches, power lead, instruction book, and a hard cover which fits over the top of the machine. So if we have a quick look around the machine now, you can see this is where the thread goes. There is also another pin that comes with the machine so you can do twin needle sewing and you can put a second spool of thread on here. You wind your bob in here and this is your pre-tensioner when winding the bobbin. This is uh, the thread tensioner device. This is the start stop button which uh, controls the machine if you're not going to use the foot control. Reverse button, auto lock button, needle up needle down button. This will either limit the speed if you have the foot control plugged in or control the speed if you're using the machine without the foot control. This alters your stitch width and this alters your stitch length. You've got four buttons across the front here to help you choose uh, the different stitch patterns. There's a handy uh, display there which shows all 60 of the stitches that the machine does. The accessory box pulls off to the right, to the left, and on the back of the machine is the switch to raise and lower the uh, feed dogs. On the side of the machine you have the on and off button, uh, your foot control plugs in here and power cable here and this would be for adjusting the stretch stitches on the machine. Now we've had a look around the machine uh, we'll set the machine up for sewing. Okay so if we now set the machine up to uh, sew. The thread goes on to the spool pin there and the cap holds it on. First we'll wind the bobbin, so pull the thread into the first thread guide, into the uh, pre-tensioner and then thread the thread, if you can, through the hole in the bobbin. Push the bobbin on and engage it. The needle will automatically disengage itself. Remove the uh, bobbin cover. The thread must come off the bobbin on the left hand side. So drop it in and pull the thread into the tensioner. The top thread then goes into the first thread guide down the front around. Find the take up lever which is hidden a lot of the time into the take-up lever, down the front of the machine, into the last thread guide and then if you're going to use a needle threader pull it down on top of the thread, down and around, put the thread on the front of the needle, wipe it up the front of the needle and then pull back with your left hand. That then pulls a small loop of thread through the back of the eye of the needle. Bring the bottom thread up through and that's it that's the machine ready to uh, to sew so the machine is set on stitch 01 
at the moment, which is straight stitch with the needle in the center position. We set the machine so the needle always stops in the fabric. We press the needle up, needle down button. On the front of the machine here we also have the reverse button. So we can press the reverse button. and the auto lock button. So we can press that, then the machine will sew several stitches in the same place, which will lock your threads. You can use that at the beginning and end of your seams. At the moment I'm running the machine with the foot control plugged in, so because we have this set on maximum, it means I have access to all the speed. If I turn this down, no matter what I do with the foot control, the machine will only chug along very slowly. This is your stitch width control. The machine is still set for straight stitch, so if we alter this, it will just move the needle from left to right. So that's now saying five millimeters, which means the needle's on the furthest right hand side. Or we can bring the needle to the far left. If we want to alter the stitch and maybe do a zigzag, uh, zigzag is stitch 05, so we can press this button to get stitch 05. The machine will automatically have the right width and length settings uh, for that type of stitch. If you wanted to change the settings, you can make the width narrower and you can make it wider or shorter or longer. So whatever the factory default settings are for the width and length of every stitch, you can override them and you can change them. So if we now chose an overcasting stitch, which is stitch 26, we just hit this button here until it reads stitch 26. And there's a thread cutter on the side of the machine. To change the foot on the machine, there's a small button on the back, press that and the foot drops off. To do a, a buttonhole, this is your one step buttonhole foot. I'm going to use a two pence piece to set the length. So now we'll produce a buttonhole for that size of button. Next thing is to get the needle thread through the hole in the foot. Select a buttonhole. Uh, we'll do a keyhole buttonhole, which is stitch 19. There's a lever at the back of the machine, pull that down and that's the machine ready to do the uh, buttonhole. 
This time we'll unplug the foot control and just use the start stop button on the front of the machine.